Hi friends, it's Miss Kendra. Today from home, I'm going to be doing a simple activity with you guys and you'll need very few things. I know that some of us don't have endless art supplies, so I'm going to do this activity with things that you can find around your house. You'll need a muffin or cupcake pan, cupcake holders, and noodles and you don't have to have this specific kind but anything but really spaghetti or a long noodle and you're gonna be counting how many hold, uh, holes there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right so since there's twelve of these let's get started you'll need twelve of these cupcake holders and you're gonna take one of these and fill up each hole one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven well, all right, and now that these are all in here, then you'll go ahead and take your pen and label them. One through 12. And if you know how to write your numbers, go ahead and practice writing your numbers. If you need help, then ask someone to help you. Maybe a sibling or mom and dad or whoever you're home with. And after they're labeled one through 12, then that's when you'll need your pasta. And it's gonna be a counting game. If you're a bigger kid, and you'd like to do this activity by yourself, that's great. If you wanna do an activity with mommy and daddy, maybe they can help you start counting out. So we're gonna start with number one. So how many pastas will we take to put in our cupcake tray? One. And what's after one? Two. So we're gonna count out two pastas. One, two. And after two is three. So we count out three pastas. One, two, three. And after three, we have four. Let's count those out together too. One, two, three, four. What comes after four, friends? That's right, five. Let's count out five. One, two, three, four, five pastas. And after five comes six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What comes after six? Seven. And if you need more pasta, go back to your pasta pile and grab more pasta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's after seven? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and what comes after eight? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After nine? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. All right, so we have one through 10. But do you guys remember how many of these there were? 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And after 10 is 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And after 11, the last one. What's after 11? 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right, friends, look at my tray. I have all the way of pastas 1 through 12. So that was an easy counting game with you guys with simple tools from home. You'll just need your cupcake tray, your cupcake holders, a pen, and some pasta. And you can do all kinds of different activities like this. It doesn't just have to be pastas. 
you could do the alphabet on them and on each pasta you could write the letter of the alphabet starting A through Z and then you just match them together so the first one would be A and you find the A pasta and put it in your A cup and B and you find the B pasta and put it in your B cup. You could also do another version of colors. Um, so you would get your marker set or your color pencils or your crayons out and you would put each specific color inside the cup and then you would take your little marker and color each pasta one of those colors, mix them all together, and then when you're done, look for each color. So say the first one would be orange. You're gonna find your orange, pot, orange pasta and put it in there. Say the next one was blue. You're gonna find your blue pasta and put it in there. And then the next one would be green. Green pasta, put it in there. And then another version, just because I, I know that everyone's not the same and maybe you don't just want to count numbers, you could put your name. So my name's Kendra, so I would put K-E-N-D-R-A. And then on each one of my pastas, I would individually fill out my name. I'd put a K on one of them, E on one of them, N on one of them, D on one of them, R on one of them, and A on one of them. And then after I was done, I'd mix all my pastas up and I'd say, okay, what's the first letter? K. I'd find my K pasta, match it with the K. I'd find my E pasta and match it with the E. I'd find my N pasta and match it with the N. D pasta, where's the D? Find the D. Find the R. And find the A. So there's all kinds of different variations that you can do that with simple things from home. Again, it's pasta, muffin tray, muffin holders or cupcake holders, and a pen um, or markers. And you can color code them. It's a very simple home activity. I know that not everybody has an Amazon account or uh, at will art space with endless supplies. So hopefully this is a super fun, easy demo for you guys to help with the activities at home. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a good time doing it with you. I'll see you soon. Bye.